Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to some more Hot Wheels uh, Unleashed. I almost said Turbo Racer. I'm like, that's not right. Going to be uh, hopefully finishing up this map here. We don't have a whole lot left to do. We did unfortunately find out the Batman loop uh, is a no bueno. So let's just jump into, uh, jump into some of this, shall we? Where's our Formula One car? Just jump into uh, the last little bit of this. When I finish this up, I'm going to jump into Katamari Damacy uh, reroll, which if you're watching this on YouTube, that doesn't really matter because who knows when that will come up. But if you're watching this on Twitch, uh, I'll take a short break and come right back. Also, if you are watching this on YouTube and you ever want to see me play any of these games live, all you need to do is click the link in the description to go to the Twitch channel and press the follow button. You'll get notifications when I go live if you're interested in that. Otherwise, they'll be right here on YouTube. If you're watching on Twitch, there's links down below that go straight over to my YouTube channel. Like, why do I feel like I got, like, milk or something in my beard? I probably do. <laughs> From, uh, breakfast. This thing is just a nasty food trap. It really is. But it hides the fact that I don't have a chin, so... Dang. What in the hell? A whole lot of ways to fall the track on this one, ain't there? This is crazy, man. I'm going to guess it's going to end like what with the volcano. It's a long course too. Long and treacherous. As one might say. like every hazard in it. So no finish with the uh, volcano, which is nice. Also, I will be ripping stuff. The computer. I'm going about the day. Good point. That's weird that the sticker is on the inside. 
wrapper. Got some new stuff I'm ready. Up some of these blind boxes. We've got the night shifter. Another freaking dump truck. You get that one all the time. Oh, neat. Dodge uh, Diora. Is that a real car? I gotta look this up real quick. Dodge Diora. Oh my god, this actually exists. This is a real thing? Yeah, I mean, it's hideous too, by the way. It is a real thing. That's crazy. 1960s Dodge Diora. Wow. I'm just like looking at it. It's like, that's crazy that this actually exists. I don't know how much they are. They dodged the aura too. So there was a second one. Okay. The second one looked like it was specifically made for Hot Wheels. I wonder, wonder how much they are. If you wanted to buy one. I apologize if it's taking a while. It's just wild looking. I just can't believe it actually exists. <laughs> About $500,000 is how much if you'd want one would cost. Holy smokes. Dude, if I'm gonna go out and buy like some kind of stupid luxury car, like if I ever got like F you rich, like fuck you money, I would like probably go out and get one of those. Screw your Lamborghinis and shit like that. The Dodge Diora all day long, baby. Where's it at? I wanna race as it. There it is. <laughs> That's what I'm picking every day. This is uh, my Lambo. I can go from zero to 102 seconds. Yeah, well, here's my Dodge Diora. Who's got the cool factor now? This guy. <laughs> Life goals. They're wild looking. Like, seriously, like, I actually Google one. It's crazy what they actually look like. I mean, they look just like this. Like, the only ones I saw in picture were gold, too. They didn't have the surfboards in them, though. The ones I saw. Ooh, boy! Bad boy's got some juice in her. <laughs> I was completely flipped around. You know, old vintage cars, like muscle cars, are actually a pretty good investment because, like, they don't, uh. They don't ever, like, lose their value. You know what I mean? Oh my god, it does it is a little surf jingle when you hit the like ultra speed. How awesome is that? I'm in love with this thing. It's the right kind of weird and ugly that I love in cars. Like I seriously want to get one of those smart 42 cars because I just think they're adorable. 
Like, there are just some cars where I'm just like, I love this because it's so hideously ugly. That's awesome. It does a little surf jingle. It does not handle very well. Then again, I didn't really expect it to. You know what I mean? I mean, look at it. I also, I know there's a shortcut on this map, but it's, uh, I'm not doing so hot. I don't have a massive lead to, like, want to try to pull it off, because the shortcut on this map is, uh, a little tricky. This thing is so cool, though. I'm just saying, like, in all honesty, in all honesty, if you were driving around town in a Dodge Diora, everybody's looking at you. <laughs> you know what I mean? This thing is so wacky looking. Oh, I love it. I, like, I have always seen the Hot Wheels Diora 2. And I was just like, I thought, I always thought that was just like a Hot Wheels made up car, you know? But when I saw this one, I was like, I'm just going to look this up. I'm curious. And I did look it up and I was just like, oh my God, this exists and I'm in love with it. So the way you get in the front is the whole front windshield goes up. And then the front, like the front bumper comes out like a door. And then you climb into like a cockpit or something. It's wild. It's wild and it's got to be unrealistically unsafe, right? Because, like, it's that's your doors. There's no doors on the side of this thing. Like, if you're in a car crash and you're, you get hit, like, head on or something, you're fucked. But I guess, like, I love it. I guess, like, if you, uh, you know, That deserves a follow or a subscription. Oh, and I run into that. Way to ruin that cool moment. That was a perfect drift. And I just ruined it. I ruin everything cool I do. I hair stuck in my mouth. That hair on my mouth. What piece of dog hair or beard hair? That's so cool. I do, man. I love this thing. It handles like shite, but it is really cool. I'm starting to get the use of the handling of it a little bit, though. It doesn't like to jump very well. Every time you jump with this thing, though, you you run a risk of this. Dude, they must have been massively on my tail. Cause 
For them to pass me like that. On one mess up. been on my case this whole entire game whole entire track oh you gotta love it honestly I don't think if it wasn't for the wind I think I would have rolled over there Man, they were still on my tail. I do like that car, though. I do like it quite a bit. I'm ripping uh, currently Dr. Katz season one. I'm going to do season two. Has anyone heard of this show, Dr. Katz Professional Therapist? I found the one at, I found season one at Dollar Tree. And I thought it looked interesting enough. And then I found season two at um, Big Lots for a buck fifty. So I decided to get them. I mean, I got I got one, but then I decided to get two as well. Oop, dropping stuff. So I'm curious to see to see what they're like. Max, hello, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. All right, what's our time here? Play this game too. It's a pretty sweet game. I've been really enjoying it so far. 204, 151. I'm not recognizing this track yet to know if there's a shortcut. Like I said, for right now, I'm not really trying for the unleash time. I'm just trying to get the goal time. It is very cool. I've, I've been really loving it. It's I've been wanting a good arcade racer, and this has really scratched my itch. That's for sure. been super fun I've come to really like this little Formula One car a lot Tenda races it But I, what I've really liked about the game is just how genuinely different each car handles. Can we not do that, please? Uh, I don't know. I've gotten quite a few where we've completed the City Rumble. Well, almost completed the City Rumble. So I've gotten quite a few from that. But how many do I actually have? I, I don't know. That was a really good drift. I was close to the time, but I'm not too worried about the unleashed goals right now. I'll, uh, I'll show you the cars I got so far. 
real quick. Just give me a sec. Oh, that's the blind boxes. Oh, I will open it while we're here. Another Camaro. So here's what I here's all I got. We got two of these Camaros, which uh, do I want to? Sell some of these. I've got eleven thousand Mustang. Um, got three of these cars. Yeah, these are all the ones I got. I'm just getting rid of my duplicates while we're here. Yep, so that's uh, what we got so far. Why don't we have this secret unlocked? Wake up. It's late. Today is your first day. You'll miss the bus. Huh. Alright, let me see how you do this. How do we do this? Goodness. That's loud. Oh, okay. You unlock a... Uh... I think I see how to do it. How to unlock the secrets. So most of the secrets, there's one you unlock by doing a race as a Motosaur, um, Motosaur, Motosaur, and then the rest of them are all boss related. And then once you complete all the bosses, um, I think the next one to unlock is the one where you have to win a race as the Bone Shaker. And then once you do that, they all just kind of like unlock as you go through the story, except for apparently this last one. There's a couple of them that are like car specific, but they're really not that bad to unlock. This, uh, the bus one I had to look up because I was like, I don't know. But so apparently we need to do this race and then we have actually, then we'll unlock the bus and then we got to go back. The journey begins and then do the, the bus Use the skew bus there. Now if I remember right, this one's got a crazy, crazy shortcut in it.
I just gotta remember what this one is. But yeah, the secrets pretty much just unlock as you uh, complete the. Pretty much just yeah okay I, I remember where the the shortcut is. Um, pretty much if you just complete the city rumble map, they'll unlock as you go. Because the car specific ones, you unlock all the cars. Oops, I did not mean to do that right there. Dang it. My fat thumb hit the... Check out this shortcut. Yeah, like, when you have to, like, the ones that are car specifics, you do unlock the cars naturally in the story mode, so they're not too bad. How's that for a shortcut? I just bypassed pretty much the whole track. The hardest part of the city rumble mode, honestly, has been the time trials. Some of the time trials are absurd. Let's do it again. This is probably the best shortcut because it bypasses a large amount of the track. But then on top of that, like, it's actually a really easy one to hit all the time. I say that, but these these two times I went to hit it, I've been really close to missing it. the map there. I've not been driving very good today, I've noticed. I almost missed our uh, shortcut, not paying attention. The fact there's so many shortcuts in this game is awesome. I love when racing games do that. Like Mario Kart and stuff's got shortcuts and stuff. Love it.
there. I finally hit one well. That shortcut makes that track so easy. So easy. All right. That is cute. The duck and roll. That's adorable. There it is, the SKU bus. Where's the... The journey begins in the SKU bus. Almost done. We're almost done. I set my lights to a sequence to like, um, called a chase. I think I, I kind of like it for the background. It's as slow as I can make them. I have cheap lights. I didn't buy like nice, like blizzard lights or anything like that. I bought some cheapos, but they do the job. Who would have thunk the school bus handles like poo poo? I wonder if the last uh, secret, if it's a, uh, if it's just a prize or if it's a race or something. Noise. Hey, what man? You don't really level up very well in uh, <laughs> in story mode. It's a time trial. No. Oh, it's probably an awful one. Oh, nice. Look at that car. That's pretty cool. Sorry, opening stuff. Cut off the side. Tell no one where to go. Well, let's do it. The last, the last candy lion. Ah, 
We'll attempt it without a shortcut. I wish all the Batman stuff you didn't have to buy. <sighs> the amount of DLC is probably for this game is probably outrageous. All right, here we go. Three minutes. Oh, it's that, it's this really hard freaking track, ain't it? Like no walls and shit, and I kept falling off of it. This one doesn't feel like there's probably that much of a shortcutting here because of how this track is laid out. But then again, it's almost 20 seconds off the Unleash goal, so there's got to be a, some kind of shortcut somewhere. That's anything. If I've learned anything, when the goal, the Unleash goal is so much faster than the regular goal, there's typically a shortcut somewhere. Oof. I didn't thought we were going to fall off the loop there. Not quite. I think I just think that's a really, really tight timer for the Unleashed Go. I don't think there's shortcut. I think you can do it, but I think it's a very tight timer. Like, you got to have a really smooth run to do it. Like I said, I'm not going to be worried too much about getting all the Unleashed Goals this time around. I'm more about just, uh... The 87 because I still have time trials to 100. Or is it also counting the Batman stuff? It better not be counting the Batman stuff. I bet it is. But, uh... Yeah, that was Hot Wheels City Rumble. Let's... Is there an option to roll credits? Yeah. I'm gonna roll the credits while I talk about the game for a little bit. Uh, this game... I don't have the case with me, damn it. This game was super fun, far better than I thought it was going to be. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. You can hold down the, the analog stick to make it grow by a little bit faster, but not too fast. Uh, I had a blast with this game. I wanted a fun arcade racer. I've been in the mood for a fun arcade racer because to me, there's a big difference between kart racers and just arcade racers. And for me, I've been wanting a good kart I mean, arcade racer. And, you know, I was between this and another game called Cruisin' Blastin', which I do want to check out at some point. Uh, but I decided to go with this because of the Hot Wheels name. 
and it looked fun because on the back of the case it had like the spiders you know and stuff so i thought well it's gonna have like the the hot wheels like you know toy track hazards so i was like this could be a lot of fun so i decided to uh to give it a shot and you know i've, I've had a blast with this i've spent probably i don't know 11 to 12 hours on the hot wheels city rumble the campaign story mode and uh, i honestly just had a really good time some of the time trials can be frustrating because of how fast you've got to be but i just had a I had a good time with this one. This was a lot of fun. This is a really fun game that I really enjoy. Um, the drifting. I love the drifting in this game. My wife doesn't like it when we played it over the weekend. For me personally, I love it. Uh, I really, really enjoy the drifting. I think it's... Once you get the hang of it... I do think it's a little weird. But I think once you get the hang of it, when you get you know through a turn smoothly, it's incredibly satisfying. It's very satisfying. Um, when you, uh, you know, get through a curve, you hit that boost and stuff. It's awesome. I love the aesthetics of this game. I love the fact that your cars handle and look like toy cars. What I mean by handle is if you hit a bump or something like that, they just go flying all over the place. Like a Hot Wheels car would, you know, if you threw it real hard, like you slid it down a track real fast and it hit something. That's how these cars feel in this game. I love the track designs. I don't think there's a single track where I was like, I hate this track. I personally, I thought all the tracks were really solid race tracks with a lot of fun hazards. The spiders were annoying because they're like snipers, but it is still a fun element to have in the game. That's for sure. It's it's sweet, man. I really like this game. Every car handles massively different. Unfortunately, there are some cars that I really like that suck, like the El Camino. I'm a you know, I really like El Camino cars and the fact that it's really bad in the game hurts my soul, even if you upgrade it. But the fact that you can upgrade stuff to a certain point, but they all still handle and play differently is really nice. Uh, it allows you to really kind of challenge yourself to play the cars you really like. And if I wanted to, I could probably sit down and really try to figure out the El Camino. I'm not wanting to. Maybe the Diora though. But... Yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. This uh, this is one of those games where it's like, now that I've completed the City Rumble part, I'm probably not going to play a ton of it. But I will see probably see myself grabbing this for a few races every once in a while to kind of scratch that racing itch. Because this game is a really solid and fun arcade racer. Um, when it comes to the other modes, the split screen's all right. I've, I've done some split screen. I, uh, I have not done... Any online, I might in the future. I might probably, if I did, maybe off off uh, stream. I've not tried the track builder. I've not tried, uh, you know, the 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 racing season. I've not tried that either. Mm -hmm. I'm not buying into it. Excuse me. The track builder, the community tracks, I don't understand how you play these tracks. Because there's some of these tracks I'd really like to try. But I don't understand how you play them. You know what I mean? Like, I don't understand how you play them. I'll have to look into it later. Um, Oh, is that what it is? Is some of these, uh, you have to buy like a pass to do it. I don't know. I have to look into it. Um, but the only thing that I really don't like about the game is the, is the, uh, microtransaction elements the blind box which the blind box is fine oh that's cool the blind box is fine as like prizes to get random cars but the fact that they cost like in-game currency that you can buy is kind of annoying especially when you're not like guaranteed to get them all and what we got a ton of gold playing the campaign i don't know how much gold we would get now outside of that like i don't know if i can go to 
sweet. Um, I don't know if I can go back into City Rumble and be able to get more gold. Like, I don't understand, like, not understand. I'm not sure if, like, I go to play this if I'll get my coins. You know what I mean? It's like, can I just, uh, can I just replay the bosses for 100 coins over and over and over again? You know, is that something you can do and consistently get coin and stuff from? I don't know. Um... I know you get, if you have the racing season, you can get a ton of coin that way. But at the same time, it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. But, excuse me. But I still still really enjoyed the game. Overall, I think I'd give it an 8 out of 10. It's a really solid little uh, art racer. Had a good time with it. And um, I'm going to play some Katamari Damas... Uh, what is, how do you say it? Katamari Damasi reroll in a little bit. I'm actually going to take a bit of a break. i got to run to the post office. Uh, run to a pet store to get crickets for my lizard. And when I get back, we'll play some Katamari Damacy reroll. All right. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, that was Hot Wheels Unleashed, game number 26. See y'all later. Peace.